the nine items. So item 10 to 16, to 7, right? It's under organized approach. 17 to 25. Actually, you can just jump, okay? Take notes on that. 26 to 32 is this approach, and uh, 33 to 40 is hard work approach. After you answer, okay, answering your question, completed your question yet. So now it's a scoring here. Okay? Usually you will key in that what you call it SPS, correct? Right? The software to uh, to determine okay, whether you're four under which uh, level start. But here you can do it manually. Manually meaning you just count it in. Right? So you have a uh, skill or one, two, three, four, five, right? Then you start up for item one to nine, okay? The first one, one to nine. Let's say you answer one. Okay, all is one 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 for nine item, so your scoring will be nine. Okay, if it says nine, meaning you are not under motivational approach. Later, I will inform, I will tell you okay, what are the uh, characteristic okay, of your or personality of yourself. If it says you go under motivational. So you just sum up. You may say you have a score of 2 or 1, then you just add up. So for item 10 to 16, you say you go under 1. So the 7 items, right? You may say all under 1, you have 7. You add up all together. Based on the item. So that's why uh, some would prefer to study by one. 
that they seem to understand and you can uh, refer to a lecturer or a tutor. So for those who uh, get adapting hard work approach, hard work, students will obtain information from various sources and not only from uh, the textbook or from uh, lecture slide yeah, or from this uh, tutorial from others as well. So we'll submit earlier on time. Yeah, earlier or on time. You need to submit your assignment earlier. How many of you will submit earlier? Usually last minute, right? Or maybe on time. Yes, on time. Maybe you say, okay, before 12 or at 12. So before 12, maybe at 5, okay, 11.59, then you will submit. Correct? Right? So usually it will be like this. Uh, you won't be uh, submit early. Maybe one or two books is there. Then what else? Uh, prepare own notes from revision books. Then beside your lecture slide, beside your tutorial, so you prepare your own notes. Alright, so uh, we will not give up easy. You can say if you don't know how to answer your questions, you will try your best, right? So to search the information from outside. How to solve this assignment, for example. Then maybe the assignment question given to you. So you won't ask your teacher first or your lecturer first. Then you will search from, uh, from outside, maybe from the net. Uh, okay, so you see uh, how to solve this kind of problem. So you may say you are editing this uh, hard work approach. For motivational, uh, these are motivational, meaning learning techniques that influence by a teacher, so by your lecturer, friends, and uh, family. Okay, usually this one is from item 2 and 7. You see your item number 2 and 7, 2 until 7. Okay? Uh, to obtain higher marks is very important task for me. Right? For the, uh, higher marks. So happy with the all tasks given. Then afraid my natural complaint of my work. Then you should you will see. Or you won't uh, do two things like it may mind the chin time. Then for you, you may say you are editing this kind of uh, learning style, then you will you will perform the best that you can. Right? And you were afraid that you are unable to catch up on your study, so you will study every every day. Then you won't wait until last minute for you to study. Right? So this one is the hard work. That's why you say we will, uh, sorry, this one is motivational, then you don't put it up. Then you will leave with the challenge to obtain the higher marks. Okay, how to get higher marks in your study? So you will study every day, right? So you will do, uh, go and uh, say advice from your lecturer or your tutor. In all the subjects, not to say only the subject you like. Then maybe you like computation, so you only focus on computation. It's not, uh, not that suitable. Then in your study, you have to focus theory, for organized uh, approach, okay, nature and behavior in managing time effectively. Okay, so you must uh, enough time to prepare for your exam. Okay, example like uh, in midterm, okay, midterm. Maybe 9 to 10 30 is your exam. So 11 to 12 is another exam. So you need half an hour. Is it the time for you to, uh, revision, to do your revision for another subject? Not suitable, right? For sure you will do it earlier, right? Although they already arranged for you. Or maybe for your final exam. Morning, uh, paper A. Afternoon, another paper. So for you, for sure you will you will prepare your you know, revision earlier. It's not within the, the time. Then after your paper one, only you go and revision for paper two. And that is not a suitable way for you to do revision. That's why you know the midterm time, alright? So last week is my midterm subject. The morning of the uh, exam, so after 15 minutes, my, my people, what they do, they will come and see me, one or two students, not all. Okay? Maybe this sort of students that is under which, uh, it's not under organized approach. Okay? So that's why this uh, kind of students that come and see me saying that I have no time for me to go for the midterm. So can I go for this uh, case first? Alright? So what is my answer? Organized in field and textbook. 
you went to this, you went to this, you are approaching, okay? you are getting this uh, organized learning stuff, you will answer the question in organized. Sometimes I see the questions, right? You will answer questions two first, okay? 2B, then uh, on 3A, then on 4B, then uh, question 5, then on back, question 1. Alright? So this kind of uh, student is not under organized approach. So usually they will answer very detailed. Give example, they prove with, uh, with respect with uh, diagram, example, timeline, all this. Alright, so they can get higher marks. So, in this case, some students say, why I can answer, but at the end, I get very less. Okay, I can answer it for my final exam. Why at the end, I only obtain a C. Okay, I, I know that I can get A. Alright, but maybe you lack of your explanation. Alright, maybe you only need point form. Instead of 10 marks, you only give a point form. So, half mark. Okay? You should have mark at the end, you get only 22 marks. Then, 2 over, over 10. So, at the end, you will get less. Okay? Instead of A, you get this here. And that is the reason why you get less. So, in order to uh, perform better achievement in your academic, right? so you have to uh, give a detail, okay? organize, and careful. Right? So, you have to read all these keywords, uh, highlight the keywords. Uh, usually the lecture time is okay? so when the lecturer mentions the, key, uh, the keyword, you will highlight it. Then the keyword itself, you can expand the explanation. Then from the keyword. So for those who are under organized approach, uh, applying this kind of learning stuff, so you will do this uh, mind map study. Okay? Mind map. Meaning, okay, from one topic to main topic, what are the subtopic? Under this subtopic, what are these? Uh, uh, topic or the keywords that you're going to uh, uh, highlight okay, for this topic or all these topic. So from here, you can just uh, do your final revision. Uh, so very easy. Very okay, very easy. So from the mind map itself, you can see what are the keywords that you're going to uh, elaborate or explain. Then you can say this one. So for the surface approach, the surface meaning you indicate less involvement in your learning Okay, only the base. Uh, you will uh, read okay, the lecture slide, you only read the first uh, two lecture slides. Okay. Then the book only, you read the first two, okay, two pages. Okay. So they will, you will just study on the information that is important. Then you read the lecture and say, okay, you have to uh, highlight this one. Okay, this one is very important, so you put two stuff here okay, on the lecture slide. So you only study on that two stuff only. Okay, then you the lecture slide, then the lecture will inform you, okay, this one is very important, you have to understand the first step. So you only highlight this. So you only study on that, emphasize or focus on that. If you say your lecturer just turn the questions, how? Huh? Do you know how to answer? Okay. So uh, you do not put any effort to study more. Okay, just study only on this uh, highlighted information only. Okay. If you say you are under surface approach, so uh, you prefer to memorize all the facts. Memorize all, okay, like copy machine at the end. See? Your final exam, right? So you say exactly same with this uh, lecture slide, for example. Or exactly same with the textbook, you can work by work. Uh, even further, but no reason. And no reason at all. So I even get this kind of uh, answer script before. Okay, so uh, this one, this kind of students, I will see all under surface of Okay, so I put that. So you prefer to memorize and prepare very few important notes, uh, very less notes. Then uh, when you do assignment or your study, you will need detailed explanation. Okay, very detailed. You will ask me or uh, sir, how to do this one? Okay, how to uh, obtain this information? Alright, this kind of uh, you say you are under surface approach. Then you want the book indeed to uh, search for the information first before you can say advice from your lecturer or from your student. Alright? So, uh, this, uh, you, you are this kind of uh, student uh, under surface approach. Okay, okay actually five only. Deep, hard work, motivational, organized, and surface. Okay, five only. So, which one? Which one? You fall in. So you will quickly change your item. Okay? From uh, the surface one, you quickly change to this uh, scoring. Okay. If you say surface, you change to uh, scoring one, I guess better. Okay? The first one. 
Grazing for item 34 until 40. Okay. Like item 39 is uh, indicate that you are not easily give up. Okay, for item 39. Uh, for 34, 35, and 36, 33, you they say you uh, you tick or you circle on the first one, uh, that's the better. Okay, the first one. Actually, it depends on the item. Okay, which one? This one is for you to uh, press back. That's not what I mentioned to you on the finding. Right? So you come in and say knowledge come with learning. Okay? So skill come with experience. Okay? You experience more than you can get more skill. Uh, skill is developed. So attitudes never come, it's developed. Okay? Develop your own. So there are three things you cannot recover in life. Okay? The word after the state. Example, you are you already score or you quarrel with someone, alright? So when you quarrel with someone, the person who received your work, then they will remember for you. But when you quarrel with what, what you what you uh, voice out, actually maybe one or two seconds you Alright? So after it's said, at the moment after it is, then they say you miss out this uh, uh, maybe this exam or this midterm, alright? Maybe you can go for replacement. But the replacement one for sure is very compared to the main in final process. And uh, the time after it's gone, right? So we have to uh, so be careful. And the learning is a question that will follow a owner anyway. Right? So once you learn actually it's a lifelong learning. They will follow you. The knowledge that you gain they will, they will follow you forever. Yeah. 